Welcome to today's totally awesome Roots Magic webinar. My name is Michael Booth and I'm Vice President of Roots Magic and one of its developers. And also with us this evening is the Roots Magician himself, Bruce Busby. And Bruce, of course, is the President of Roots Magic and its author. And tonight's topic is a little different than others that we've covered. Now, everybody needs a little help from time to time and nobody understands this better than us at Roots Magic. So we're pleased to offer many different methods of getting help for our software products. And all of them are free. And many of them you may already be familiar with, but there are probably many that you aren't. And so uh, hopefully you'll come out of this webinar this evening learning a few more methods to get the help that you need. Now, I'd like to take just a minute to do a quick poll on how people are getting help using Roots Magic. So the question is, how do you currently get help using Roots Magic? Do you ask a friend, call by phone, do you email technical support, do you use our forums, or do you just not get help at all? So go ahead and check as many of those options that apply. And in terms of the results, 25% of you ask a friend for help, 10% of you call us by telephone, 34% of you will email us, 32% uh, use the forums, and 42% most of you don't get help at all. And uh, we don't like to see that, well, unless you're just understanding the software so well, but uh, if you do have any problems, we want to make sure that you get the help that you need. And so with that in mind, I'm going to turn the time over to Bruce. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, as Mike mentioned, this is a bit of a different webinar than we usually do. Usually we pick a topic and show you how to use a particular feature of Roots Magic or Personal Story or Family Atlas. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you all the different ways that you can get help on using these different programs. So what I'm going to show you may be specific to Roots Magic on the screen, but pretty much everything I show you is available not just for Roots Magic, but it is available for our other products as well. So it's a way to get help on any of our products that you happen to have. Okay, now I am going to be showing you up front here how to get help from inside of Roots Magic itself. But then we're going to be jumping to a bunch of websites. Now don't worry about trying to take notes and trying to quickly write down uh, website URLs. We have a document that we're going to uh, give you a link to at the end of this webinar which will have all the various links and the ways to get help. We've created a new document uh, that is, that's going to make that available uh, quick and easy for you. So let's go ahead and start. When you're in Roots Magic, obviously the first place that you can get help is from the Help menu. And that's the last menu item right here at the, at the end of the Help. And when you click on Help, you can go down and click on Contents. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring up the Help. Now this is available whether you're in Roots Magic or Personal Story or Family Atlas. They all have a help file. Now what you're going to have is a topic over here on the right side. It will have links that you can click on just like a website. But you're going to have a number of, of uh, options over here on the side panel. By default you're going to go into the contents. And you can click on things like the Roots Magic interface. When you click on the Roots Magic interface, it's going to go into a topic about the Roots Magic interface. And of course, it has the links in it, uh, as I explained. You can also expand the topic, just like a book. These are chapters, and you go, it can go into chapters and sub-chapters and sub-sub-chapters in order to get more detail for each of these topics. If you want to know how to work with people in Roots Magic, you click on that, and it takes you to help on the edit person window. Okay, Now there's a number of different things you can do. You can click home to take you back to that home page. 
There's also some other tabs. Let's go ahead and click on the Index tab. When you click on the Index tab, what you get is something similar to a, uh, an index in the back of a book. And it's just an alphabetical index, and you can go search for information you're looking for. Now, the one limitation to that is, of course, like any book index, it's limited to what words or phrases we think to put in there. Now, there may be times when you want to find something that's not in that index. When that's the case, go ahead and click on the next tab, Search. When you click on the Search tab, you can actually come in here and type in a word to have RootsMagic search the entire help file. So if I was looking for help on templates, I might just type the word template and click List Topics, and RootsMagic is going to bring up information on all of the different topics that have to do with templates. And you can see you can scroll down there, and you can click on any of those, double click on one of those to actually go to a help topic covering that particular feature. Finally, the last tab, which you can't really see very well here. Oh, let me click the arrow. Uh, this, is, this screen's at a lower resolution for the webinar, is Favorites. And what you can do is if there's a topic within your help file that you tend to use a lot, go ahead, go to that topic. It'll actually show you the current topic and click Add, and that now becomes a favorite so that you can come into the favorites. Works just like the bookmarks in Roots Magic itself. You can go in and actually add a bunch of favorite topics so that you can quickly get to those. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the help file. And I want to mention one other thing. Roots Magic and Personal Historian and Family Atlas all have what is called context sensitive help. What that means is that if I just go in here and click on Help Contents, it's always going to come up to that home screen. But if I happen to be in a different screen, let's say I go into the Roots Magic Explorer or the search screen, if I press the F1 key, that F1 function key on my keyboard, it's going to bring up help for the specific topic or the specific page that I'm on. So pressing the F1 key is not just a shortcut to bring up help, but it's a shortcut to bring up help on whatever screen I happen to be on in Roots Magic at the time. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about just a couple of other items that are inside of Roots Magic to get help. Okay, and some of these actually will take you uh, to websites. So under the Help menu, we just looked at contents. One of the ones that's really important is check for updates. What we find is a lot of users don't realize that we have free updates that we've been releasing, and so they continue to use an old version. Well, they may be struggling with a particular feature uh, or problem that may have been fixed in an update. So what you can do is click on Help and go down to Check for Updates, and Roots Magic will check whether there are any updates available. If you're using the most up-to-date version, it will tell you. If not, it will say there's an update available, and there'll be a button that you can just click to download and install the most recent update. So it's always good to make sure you're uh, up to the latest update. If you just go check that every, every week or two, you should be good to go. Okay, the next one I want to show you. We're going to talk about the Learning Center. So if you go Help and then come down to the Learning Center, Roots Magic is going to take you to a website. It's going to open up your browser and take you to what is called the Learning Center. And from here, you have the ability to watch webinars, watch video tutorials, uh, and, and on the different subjects, on Roots Magic, on Family Search, Personal Historian, and Family Atlas. So it's kind of a shortcut into our website to see the webinars and the tutorials. Okay, let's go ahead and pop back to Roots Magic. If I click on Help and come down to Technical Support, that is going to take you to our support homepage. Okay, and from here, you can go to the knowledge base, you can submit tickets, uh, uh, which are, are support tickets, things like that. And we're going to come back to all of these items. I'm just kind of showing you 
what the options are to quickly get to from inside of Roots Magic. Okay, now I'm going to hop out of Roots Magic. I'm going to go ahead and close it. The rest of what I'm going to be showing you, we will be doing from the browser. Okay, all those things that I showed you before were things that you could get to or access from inside of Roots Magic. Now we're going to go to a bunch of different a bunch of different pages to help us with um, with our with our programs. Okay, the first feature I'm going to show you, the first support help, is called our forums or our message boards. And when you go, what you're going to do is you can go to forums.rootsmagic.com. Like I say, don't you don't have to worry about writing this down because we're going to give you a, doc, a file that has all of this in it. This is our message board. Now, this message board has a number of different sections. There's a news and information section, which has announcements and Roots Magic news. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're not doing as well at keeping the Roots Magic news. That's our newsletter. At keeping those archives up to date, we need to go in there and then update that. But these would be announcements, uh, copies of our newsletter, things like that. You'll notice that they are not writable. In other words, you are not allowed to post in those. Those are just news screens for us to be able to um, uh, to be able to get news out to, to users. Then, as you scroll down, we have the product support boards, and we have support boards for the Roots Magic Four. We also have support boards for the Roots Magic 3. So for those people who are still using the older Roots Magic 3, there is a support board there for you as well. For Personal Historian, for Family Atlas, for Family Reunion Organizer, and then for Family Origins. Now, a lot of people don't re have never heard of Family Origins, and they don't realize what this Family Origins thing is. Family Origins is a program that we had originally released, a genealogy program that we originally released and we had licensed it to another company. Uh, that company uh, discontinued it, which is why we wrote Roots Magic, but we do still provide uh, support on this message board for the Family Origins program. You can see it talks about it being discontinued. And in general, there's just a, a page here for general messages. That tends to be uh, a board that when people post a message in one of our support boards that really doesn't have anything to do about our software, it tends to get moved by the moderators into that general messages. But let's go ahead and look at this just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click and go into the Roots Magic 4 support boards. And when I do that, it's going to take us into the page for Roots Magic 4 help. Come on, let's go. There we go. Okay, now in the Roots Magic 4 uh, subform, there's different there's different message boards. The Roots Magic 4 is an over is kind of an overall message board, but we have a board where you can just discuss the use of it. In other words, how do I do this? How can I do that? Is there a way to do this? Things where you're discussing the use of Roots Magic 4. Okay, there's also a board called issues. This is where if you find a bug or a problem in Roots Magic 4, you can click here and go post a message there. We also have a board on using Roots Magic with New Family Search, some tips and hints. Okay, so if our users have, have some hints or tips that they want to share with other users, uh, you can go there. The wish list, this is where you can actually go and make suggestions. So if you have a feature that you would like to see in Roots Magic, Go ahead and go to that wish list and say, hey, I wish Roots Magic could do this. Sometimes some of our users will reply back and say, yeah, you can't do that, but here is another way that you can do kind of the same thing. They'll give you what's called a workaround. Now, that may be useful. You may actually just still want the feature, um, but it is a way to be able to let us know uh, some of the things that you would like to see in future versions. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and click on this discussion once. We're just going to keep going a little bit deeper so you can see what the, the message board actually provides. So when you do this, in the discussions, you're going to see a number of different topics. 
and you can click on the topic to go see more detail about it. You can see who started that discussion, how many people have viewed that discussion, how many replies there are to it, and the date that something was last posted on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at one of these. Um, occupation of parent fact. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that what it does is somebody can ask a question and other users can jump in and provide help. And you can reply back and forth. Now, one thing about this that you need to be aware of is that you do need to register in order to post any messages. Anybody can go and look at the messages. So if all you want to do is go and lurk and just look at messages or go in and search for help. So if I were to come up here and say, yeah, I want to search for template. Let's see if anybody has said anything about template on the message boards. I can go ahead and do a search for template. Your search returned 82 results. And you can scroll down and you can see what the topic was, what forum it was, whether it's in the discussions or the wish list or whatever, who it was started by and so on. You can see that and jump in and and see the results of that. Okay. Now, if you want to add a topic, if you want to create a question or if you want to reply to somebody, you need to have an account. You need to register with the message board. And the way you can do that, let me go ahead and sign out right here so you can see see what it looks like. This is what it looks like if you come and you're not signed in. Okay. Looks pretty much the same. The, the only difference is, is that you're not signed in. So you can come up here and you can click sign in if you've already registered. If not, you can register here. And when you register, you'll enter your name and email address. It'll ask you a couple of little trick questions that are very easy. Things like, what kind of a tree do genealogists work on? And you can say family or ancestry or you know pretty much anything you want that actually makes sense. Um, it'll send you an email to reply to, and you will then be registered. Once you're registered, you can then sign in and begin posting questions. Okay, so that is an overview of, of the message boards. Now, one thing I did want to point out, when you do this search, this message board, uh, you can see up here, it says an Envision, an Envision Power Services product. We didn't write the message board. We write genealogy and family software. We don't write message boards. We don't write support ticket systems. We don't write all of that software that's used to help with support. So one of the things you'll find is that when you try to do a search, that it has some limitations. If you try to type a word that's too short, it'll say, oh, that word's too short. We're not going to search for it. So I'm going to give you one little trick right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google. And in Google, what we're going to do is we are going to do a search. Now let's say we want to search for that word template. Okay. Well, what I can do is, in addition to that, I can put site colon forums.rootsmagic.com. That's, that's, the, that's the URL for the forums. By putting site forums.rootsmagic.com, what I've just done is I've said, search for whatever I put in. The word, oh, I spelled template wrong. It's going to search for whatever I put in, but it is only going to search our forums. Okay, so there's another way to actually get search results for our forums. You'll notice every single one of these results is going to be in forums.rootsmagic.com. So that's just a little trick that you can use if you just want to search our forums, but you want to do it from Google rather than from, uh, rather than from inside of the forum software itself. Okay, the next one. Okay, this next page, this is what's called the Roots Magic Users mailing list. Okay, the website, the, the website RootsWeb hosts thousands and thousands and thousands of what are called mailing lists. Now, these mailing lists, the way they work is you sign up for a mailing list, and then 
you can it will it will say okay you're now signed up for it and it will give you a a an email address and anything you send to that email address will automatically be sent by email to everybody else that is subscribed to that mailing list okay and what and vice versa anybody else that sends an email to that list will come to you okay now this right here that mailing list is not put together by us we are not the ones that maintain the roots magic users mailing list that's why it's called the roots magic users mailing list this is a list of users who email back and forth helping each other now when you come to this page this rootsmagic.com slash mailing list you can click view mailing list and it's going to take you to the page for that Roots Magic users mailing list. Okay, and from here you can subscribe. It talks about how to do that. Click on one of these links and send an email to one of these links in order to subscribe. Now there's two different kinds. There's the list, which means every email that gets sent to that list is going to come to you as an individual email, or there's the digest, that's the D. Digest means once a day or, or something like that. You will get one email with all of the emails that were sent to the list in that day or that time period. Okay, there's also links here for how to unsubscribe. Finally, and this is, this is a useful way to get help, you can search the Roots Magic users archives. Okay, when you click on that, that's going to come up and that's going to bring up a screen where you can actually search all of those email messages which have been sent back and forth to each other because whenever you send an email to that list besides going to everybody else it goes into these archives so you can actually look for something in the body of the emails you can look for a particular poster a particular user but if you know their email address you can find all of the all of the things they said again you just tell it which list and you can change it to a specific date that you want to look so again if we wanted to look up template okay i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and pick template and i'm going to say search and it's going to tell you that nothing was found okay i probably need to put a date in there nope I guess not oh well um, that's the way that's the way it works uh, I, I'm surprised that the word template is actually well actually it has template in question I didn't put template question I wanted just template okay there's the problem it, it kept throwing question in there for me okay so there you can see there's a list of links to all of those all of those questions that have been posted on the roots magic users mail list okay so if you want to be able to to check this body of knowledge from all of these users that have been emailing back and forth for basically since day one of roots magic's release this is a great way to do that. This is a great way to get uh, access to all of those. Okay, let's go ahead and move along just a little bit. Okay, this one's going to look familiar. These are our webinars. This is the next way to get help. Okay, this is the one we're what? This is the one we're right in the middle of right now. Getting help using Roots Magic. We have one next week on running Roots Magic on your Mac. Okay. But the great thing about the webinars is that we have been recording every one of them and you can come right here and watch a webinar or you can download a webinar. Okay, if you try to if you try to download a webinar and you can't seem to be able to play it, there's a link to a free program that will play those downloaded webinars. Okay, you'll also notice we also make collections of past webinars available on CD. Okay, I think right now we have 22 total webinars. The first, uh, the first 19, I guess, up to here are available on CD. 
Now those aren't free. We've been talking about all of the, all of these things being free. This is the one that isn't free because we have to pay for these CDs. But you can actually go and see a collection of the webinars on CD. Now we don't throw one webinar on each CD. There's only two CDs, and each one of those CDs we crammed ten different webinars. So it's you know in this case 13 hours of webinars is on the one CD. Okay, so there's two CDs. It shows you which ones those are. So those are available. If you don't want to download or watch it online, or you just want it to be available on a CD, uh, that's what you can do. Okay, I'll assume that since you're watching the webinar, this webinar, you're already familiar with the webinar. So let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, our next support option is our blog. Okay, if you go to blog dot rootsmagic.com. This is where we post things about information like what are the next webinars coming up. When we release updates, we will post information about the updates as they come along, along with the links to download those updates. When we go to conferences, we will uh, put information about the conferences we're going to so that if you happen to be in the area, you can come by and visit us. The conferences that we go to, the exhibit halls are free, and so you can actually come uh, talk to us one-on-one uh, -on -one and actually get to talk to the programmers, uh, either I or Michael Booth uh, are at most of these conferences, and you can actually talk to us and pick our brain on things. So the webinar, the, I mean, excuse me, the blog, in addition to being able to just kind of scroll through and do that, you can actually search in here as well. So you can come down, you can come down here and eh, where's the search? There it is right there. You can come up here and you can type in a word or a phrase and find all of our blog posts that talked about that particular word. Or you can look at the different categories. If you just want to see blog posts about the conferences or just about online classes or just about Roots Magic, come click on that. Now, like any good blog, if you use a blog reader, uh, I personally happen to use Google Reader, but if you use a blog, uh, a blog reader, you can actually come over here and subscribe to our blog so that when you go into your reader, our blog, if we have a new post, will just show up there. You don't have to keep coming out to our blog to look at that over and over. If you, if you don't understand how blogs work, go over here to our archives and go all the way to the end. July 2008, that's when we started our blog. So click on that, and as you go down, what you're going to find is go to the very, very first one, And when you go to our very first blog post, which was July 5th of 2008, we talk a little bit about that, but there's a video right here, which is RSS in plain English, and it talks about blog readers and how blogs work. So you just come to that page, go to our very first blog uh, entry, and click on this and watch it, and it will kind of give you a walkthrough about how blogs work, how, uh, how blog readers work. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, to the next one. Okay. Now, when, as this comes up, you may have heard of this website before. It's called Facebook. So, if you go to facebook.com/rootsmagic, we have a page up on Facebook. We have a Roots Magic page up on Facebook, and you can come. If you happen to be on Facebook, you can come to Facebook. Uh, even if you're not on Facebook, if you go to facebook.com slash rootsmagic, even if you don't have a Facebook account, you can come here and read the questions that people ask and our answers. Okay? Like, like the blog, we also come in here and we t this is where we post information about uh, we have webinars coming up. Here's links to them. Uh, and things like that. Now we actually have um, Facebook pages 
for each of our programs. Now, what you can do is if you are on Facebook, when you come to the Roots Magic page, you'll see a button right here that says like. If you click that like button, it basically means that whenever we post something on our Facebook page, it will show up in your little news feed. Okay? Only our what we post will show up in your news feed. It's not going to show you all the questions everybody else uh, puts in, but the things that we post will show up in your news feed. So um, if we post and say, hey, there's a, there's a new update available or the webinar is coming up, you will see that. We also occasionally have contests on Facebook um, where, we'll, where we'll basically do, uh, do contests and basically we pick from the names of all the people who have liked our Roots Magic page uh, and give them, you know, and, and get, pick, pick them at random and, and give out prizes, whether it's software or books or, or whatever. Okay. We also, as I mentioned, we also have a page for our other products. So if you go to facebook.com slash personal historian, that will show you our personal historian page. We also have one facebook.com slash family atlas. And we also have one facebook.com slash my reunion, which happens to be um, which happens to be the page for our family reunion organizer. Uh, as you can see right here on Facebook, what we've been doing is we've been giving sneak previews of screenshots of Personal Historian 2, uh, which will be, will be coming out within the next several weeks. And so up here, uh, it's nice and graphical, so it's easy for us to go ahead and put screenshots uh, to show little sneak previews of things like that. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, you might have heard of this one. You may or may not have used this, but Roots Magic also has a Twitter feed. So if you go and you follow Roots Magic on Twitter, whenever we tweet something, again, this is where we post uh, information about updates or things we're working on or places we'll be. Uh, things like that, we will actually, uh, you will get those. Uh, whenever we send out our newsletter, we, we tweet about that with a link so that you can actually go look at the newsletter if you don't happen to get that by email. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another one here. User groups. Okay, we're going to switch gears a little bit. We've been talking about websites. We've been talking about about websites that you can go to to get help. But sometimes there's nothing like talking to another person face to face that uses Roots Magic, bouncing ideas or questions off of them. And that's where the, Root, the Roots Magic user groups come in handy. So if you go to our website, go to the rootsmagic.com slash user groups page, what you're going to see is a list of current Roots Magic user groups. And if you are interested in starting one of these user groups, let us know. Just click here. It's actually quite easy to get started with a user group. You just let us know, hey, there's a handful of us here that we want to start meeting on a regular basis. If you even meet only once a quarter, if you have something that's fairly steady, let us know and we can add it. Now, the Roots Magic user groups actually has two sections. There's the official current Roots Magic user groups, and these are broken down by by state and by country towards the end. But you can see you have the state and the town, what the user group name is, uh, information about when they meet, the date they meet, the times, uh, where the meetings are held, and usually a contact person or a link to a website where you can get more information. So as you can see, we have a couple in Arizona. We have them scattered around California, Colorado, Florida, uh, Idaho, Illinois, a couple in Iowa, Kansas City, Maine, Michigan, Minnesota. You can see we kind of have them scattered all over the place here. Okay. Now, 
The second section right here is called users wanting to start a user group. Now, if you happen to want to start a user group, in other words, if you live in a, in a particular town, the first thing you want to do is come here, and if there's not an official user group listed in that upper half, come down here to the section about users wanting to start a user group, see if that particular area has a person wanting to start a user group here, and click on that link and email them and say, hey, I live in your same area. As you get more and more people working together, you're going to be able to start meeting. And even if all you do is meet at a restaurant somewhere or meet at a public library, you know, and just, just meet in, in one of the little corners of a public library to get started, that's, that's all it takes to get started with a Roots Magic user group. And again, if you want to do that, come to this page and click right here to contact us with your name and contact information, and we can add you to that list at the bottom if there isn't somebody already interested in creating a user group in your area. Okay, User groups, some of our user groups are five, ten people. They aren't very big. They, but they happen to meet in a regular place. They maybe talk to the public library and set up a particular, you know, the third Tuesday of every month at 6 or whatever, and they just happen to meet there. They bring their laptops and they talk about Roots Magic. Some of our Roots Magic user groups are much, much bigger and are, are you know, very, very well organized and so on. Some of our user groups are actually subgroups or SIGs, special interest groups, of a larger society. In Burbank, we have a Roots Magic user group that's part of the Southern California Genealogical Society, SCGS. They're the ones that hold the, the Jamboree in Burbank every year. Okay, there's also one with the San Diego Genealogical Society. So a user group can be part of an overall larger group. You can go talk to that group and say, hey, we want to uh, kind of be under your umbrella as a user group, or you can just be a completely independent group that just, you know, meets whenever you meet. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, now we are going into what is called the knowledge base, the Roots Magic knowledge base. And actually, I am going to, I'm going to log, once again, I'm going to log out here so that you can see this from the view that, that you normally would see. When you come to the knowledge base, this is a set of articles. As you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different categories. Customer support, just general questions on customer support, issues with viewing webinars, the Roots Magic tutorials, things like that. You also have a section on Roots Magic. And under Roots Magic, there's a bunch of different categories, general questions. These are the questions that we add uh, to our knowledge base that we haven't put into a category yet. Converting from other programs, running it on different operating systems, Roots Magic to go, and so on. We have a section for personal historian, for family atlas, and for family reunion organizer. So you can actually come here and come to the knowledge base and just do a search. You can either go down to the main screen and browse through the different categories to see if you can find what you want, or just type something right in here. Again, I'll just keep using this same one, template, if I want to search for, for things that have to do with template. Okay, here's our knowledge-based articles, using sentence templates, transferring user-defined templates to a new database, uh, narrative report with a blank child. That's talking about the um, uh, about t uh, templates for people that uh, don't have a birth act, things like that. So you can actually go to this knowledge base and go ahead and uh, type, in, type in something to search our knowledge base. And this knowledge base is growing every day. We continue to, as we get questions asked, uh, if it's not already in the knowledge base, we go ahead and add that, add that question to our knowledge base. Okay. Let's go ahead. The next step would be right here, submit a request. Okay, when you come to our support page, support.rootsmagic.com, you don't actually need the home, it'll add that. 
when you come to this page, if you go right here to the knowledge base, that goes straight to the knowledge base. If you click on submit a request, this is when you can actually ask us a question. Give us a subject and write a description of what the question is and put in uh, these words. Um, if, if they're hard to read, if you can't tell what that is, say, give me two other words, please, and it'll change it. And you can keep clicking it until you get something you can actually read. These tend to be a little bit on the fuzzy side intentionally so computers uh, can't, uh, can't fake it. Um, and, and this is basically to, pre to prevent spammers. And you type those words in there. But right here is where you're going to ask the question. And you'll notice that there is uh, some information here that we'd like you to look at before you ask a question. Okay, so for example, if you're reporting a bug, if you can actually give us the exact steps to reproduce that, give us the version number of Roots Magic that you're using. What version of Windows are you using? Um, things like that. If you can give us that information, it makes it easier for our tech support staff to answer your question. Okay, very few people ever actually give us this information, so apparently they're not reading it. You know, I don't know whether we need to make it blinking red or something. But if you do provide that information, it does keep us from having to continually, because the first thing our tech support will do is probably come back and ask you these questions. Uh, you know, what version are you using? You know, to make sure you are using the latest version, because if you're reporting a bug, it may have been uh, fixed in a later version. And so it's important for us to know that you are using the latest version uh, when you get that. Okay, if you're requesting a registration key lookup, in other words, if you lost your registration key, give us your full name and your email address because that's what we need in order to look it up. Okay, and again, don't submit multiple tickets. There are times when we will, our support people will say, I've got four tickets from the same person and they're all asking the same question. So once you've done, once you've submitted the question, just realize, yes, we have it. Um, we may not be able to get back to you in the next five minutes. You know, our support people are going through them in the order they receive them. Now, when you uh, put in one, you can actually you can actually come up here to this upper question, uh, uh, upper corner, and sign up. And if you sign up, what that does is that gives you a login and a password so that you can come in here and say check your existing requests. So if you have submitted a request or two, you can come in and log in and check your existing request so you can see the full conversation back and forth between you and our support. Okay, so you can go in and you can, you can say, oh, look, I asked this question. They asked me this. I said this. They asked this. You can see the full back and forth. You don't have to go back through your emails looking for that. Now, as a shortcut, you can also send us an email. So if you send an email to support at rootsmagic.com, don't type it in here as your email address. If you type it as your email address, you'll never hear back from us. I'm typing it in here just because it gives me a place to type it so you can see what the address is. From your email program, if you send an email to that email address, it will actually create a ticket in this system so that later on you could go in and register and then click check existing requests. And again, don't worry about trying to write this down. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the, um, give you the information in just a little bit on on how to do this. Okay. Next one. Okay. If you go to our main Roots Magic homepage. We, we often get emails from people saying, why is it so hard to figure out how to contact you? Um, and we answer, we don't know, because all you have to do is go to our Roots Magic page and click Contact Us on the very first row. And there are our phone numbers. There's our tech support phone numbers. There's the email information. There's the link to our, to our support site. There's our address. There's everything you need to contact us. So uh, for those who have found it hard to contact us, that's how you do it. You just click that contact us 
on the top row, and it's going to give you all of our contact information right there. Okay, a couple of other um, a couple of other things. Let's go ahead. Now this this right here is a Google Doc, okay, and it's got a really long URL, so definitely don't want to try to be typing this one in. But this is a this is a um, a tip sheet, a Roots Magic 4 tip sheet. So this is specific to Roots Magic. Everything else I showed you before applies to not just Roots Magic, but also to Personal Historian, Family Atlas, and Family Reunion Organizer. This one is specific to Roots Magic 4. And this is a tip sheet that one of our users put together. And you can go to this website and you can print or, or save this. And it has a lot of information on, on how uh, to put together sentence or source templates, uh, as well as a lot of hot keys and things like that. And this page that I'm going to give you in just a little bit will have this long URL in a link format. It's going to be a PDF. There will be a link where you can actually go and, and get a link right to this page. Okay. Finally, one of the things you might want to do is many of the LDS family history centers uh, around around the country, around the world, are teaching roots magic classes. Not all of them, but a lot of them are teaching roots magic classes. So if you go and contact, give your family, local family history center a call, ask them if they happen to offer any roots magic classes. Uh, if they do, these classes are free, uh, and you can just basically go and there's an instructor that is going to basically be able to teach you about roots magic. Now keep in mind, these teachers are volunteers. They may not know every answer, but if they don't know an answer, they will usually contact us and try to find an, out an answer so that for their next class, they happen to know that answer. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you right here, uh, for, that's, a, that's a way to get help, and I say this for last because Again, this is not free. Uh, everything we've shown you so far, except for the webinars on CDs, are free. But the webinars themselves are free. Is the Roots Magic book. Uh, if you go, there's a book on Roots Magic. It's like 300 and something pages long. And it's, it's, an, it's another option uh, for help. And so I just wanted to mention that because I didn't want to leave that out uh, when we are talking about help options for Roots Magic. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where a link, if you go, if you go to our rootsmagic.com page and click on support, that's going to take you to this support page. You will see a link right here, right at the top of the Roots Magic support page. You're going to see a link right here. It says you can download a list of all the ways to get help. This is something we just put up uh, just this afternoon, and this is a link to the, to the file I've been mentioning. When I click on that, it is going to open up a PDF file, and that PDF file, you can download it, you can print it, you can save it, you can do whatever. But these are those Roots Magic help options. So let's go, away, go ahead and uh, just do a quick re overview, a quick review of what we talked about. Um, and then Mike is actually going to put up the link to directly download this file uh, if you want that. Okay, we talked about the help file. Help contents brings up the main help file. Pressing F1 brings up help for whatever screen you happen to currently be on. Okay, the links inside of Roots Magic. You can click on the help menu and then check for updates. The help menu, click on Learning Center or the help menu and click on technical support. That will let you download the latest version of Roots Magic. That will let you go to the Learning Center where they have, um, where we have links to the webinars and the tutorials. Or you can click on the technical support where you can go through our knowledge base or submit a ticket to our tech support. The forums, these are where uh, you can, we have specific message boards for Roots Magic, Personal Historian, Family Atlas, uh, Family Reunion Organizer, and Family Origins, where you can post questions and interact 
with other users and with our own uh, Roots Magic tech support staff. Okay, there's a little hint right here on how to use Google to search those tech, those Roots Magic forums. Uh, you can go into Google and type whatever it is you want to search for, followed by site, colon, and then the message boards. Okay, the mailing list. This is that Roots Magic users mail list. This is where you can sign up to be able to send email to other Roots Magic users and to have their emails about Roots Magics come to you. This also has a place where you can search the archives of all the Roots Magic users uh, messages that have go all the way back to 2002. The newsletter. This is where you can actually sign up for our Roots Magic newsletter. And I just realized I think I skipped over that. I don't think I even did that. So I'm going to go to that website first. Yep, I forgot to do this. We have a once a month newsletter. And if you go to rootsmagic.com slash newsletter, you can actually enter your name and your name and your email address and subscribe. Okay? We don't send out a bunch of spam. Uh, we only use the newsletter. This is actually our official method for announcing patches and upgrades. So if you subscribe to this, you will get a newsletter once a month if we remember to send it out. You don't usually, you won't get any more often than that unless we have um, a big upgrade and we may send out a separate, a separate notice during the month uh, announcing a, a new product. Uh, the newsletter has tips and hints, product announcements, other interests, other news of interest to users of Roots Magic or our other programs. Okay. Um, the webinars, this is the link to actually view or download our webinars. That's completely free. If you happen to want to buy some CDs that have the webinars on it, that's the link for that as well. The blog, there's our link to our blog where we post, um, post information uh, about where we're going to be going to conferences, when we've released an update, um, you know, and things like that. This is our Facebook pages. This is our Twitter, if you want to follow us on Twitter. Okay. The list of user groups right here. That's how you can get a list of official user groups, find people who want to start user groups, or let us know that you want to start a user group. Okay. Our knowledge base. This is where we have our hundreds of articles that we've written about various features having to do with all of our different programs. This is our support tickets. If you want to send a create a support ticket, this is where you would do that to have our tech support answer that. If you want to send us an email and have support answer it, that is the email for that. Okay, this is the phone number for tech support. Okay, that tech support is available Monday through Friday, eight to five Mountain Time. Keep in mind. We don't have a thousand people answering phones and answering email tickets. We are a small company, and so we, it may take it may take a little while to get back to you. If you do call us, our support people might be busy, and you might have to leave a message saying, "Please call me back." Okay, but th those options are available there. Again, Family History Center classes. You can contact your Family History Center to see if they offer a class. Here's that ridiculously long link I mentioned uh, to the tip sheet that was provided by Bill Bienia, one of our Roots Magic users. And finally, the link to the book. Okay, so um, if there, it looks like there's not very many questions that have been asked. Um, I see one right here, Facebook, blogs, Twitter, lists, message boards, user groups, emails. Isn't this redundant? I feel overwhelmed. Okay. The reason we have all of those is not to force you to have to use them. It's because some people are happy to, some people like using Facebook, some people like Twitter, some people like to follow blogs. And so we want to make sure that no matter which way or which method you are most comfortable with, we want to make sure that you are able to reach us, whether it's by reading a blog, whether it's by finding us on Facebook, whether it's by 
uh, following us on Twitter, whether it's watching webinars, whether it's uh, emailing us, whether it's going to a website and asking a question, whether it's calling us, um, you know, whether it's going to an, a user group and talking to other users, whether it's going to a message. We wanted to be able to provide that for uh, everybody, no matter which way they feel the most comfortable with. So um, we're glad you joined us. Um, Mike is going to put up a page here which has the URL to that direct link. So if you write down that one URL that's going to be on that closing page, you'll be able to get to that document we talked about. Thanks for joining us.